flatten PowerPoint files with high DPI with this new tool. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to my channel where we show you how to make money online with low content products like KDP, low content books, printables and digital planners. So last week I was approached by Marina from Marina Art Designs and she asked me to test out her new PowerPoint add-in or new tool. And what this does, it actually takes your PowerPoint files, it flattens them into a high DPI PDF file. Now you need this tool if you are selling printables and KDP low content books, but mainly printables, especially if you're selling them on Teachers, Pay Teachers and Etsy. Now the reason why you need this tool is because if you create your products and you use other images that have been created, say from Creator Fabrica or Creator Market or a Hungry JPEG or wherever, part of their license actually requires that you actually flatten the final product. And the reason for that is because they don't want people actually going and editing these files and actually taking those images that you've purchased and using them without a correct license. So this is something you need to do. Also, this is great if you create your covers for your KDP books in PowerPoint because you can actually create them with high resolution that it keeps the crispness of your PowerPoint, of your image, and it doesn't actually look blurred or pixelated. Now I have created videos showing you how to do this manually, but there is always that issue of losing resolution and DPI actually going down. And that is the problem when you keep converting files. But this software, this tool that is currently free, links down in the description, actually avoids all that. So I'm actually going to show you what I mean. So I created a file and I must also say that this only works so far in the Windows Office suite. So I'm using Office 365. I usually think add-ins are about from 2016 onwards. It doesn't work on the Mac version, but it does work on if you've got Parallels and you're running Windows on your Mac through Parallels and you've got an Office 365 membership. It does work on that because that's what I've tested it on. It doesn't work on the web-based Office PowerPoint either, but it does work for Windows. If you've got Windows or you've got Parallels for Mac, then it's a great tool and it's free at the moment. Again, the link will be down in the description. So what do we mean is, well, if you've created anything or you've got anything and you've put it in PowerPoint and there's all these different layers, as you can see. So I've got different layers on all my images that I've created. Or I'll say I've gone to create a Fabrica and I've put in some roses and embellishments. Well, I have the license to mess about with those roses and embellishments, but people who are using the product afterwards, printing it out and things like that, haven't. And what they can do if all you do is export it as a PDF is they can then take it into a design tool like Illustrator, Inkscape or Affinity. And I'll show you now because I exported that file as a PDF and you can see the name there, test PDF. And you can see that all the, everything's there, the layers and everything. So the end user can go along, edit it, do whatever they want with it without the correct license. So that's no good. So using this tool, and once you've followed Marina's instructions, they're very easy to follow, you get like a little menu that pops up that's called flat PDF. And the one you get, the one that you're interested in is this flatten and export as a PDF. Now, all these links here are to do with what services Marina offers, like her desi interior designs and creative fabrica, her Gumroad shop, where you can get this from, her Fiverr, Etsy, uh, any of the books that she's created, her own YouTube channel, Facebook, her Instagram, and Bowers Publishing. I've got his software which I've shown in a number of different videos, which is fantastic. Also using different add-ons. And the reason why she's got it is because I think he's helped her create this software. So it's got good pedigree. So what you need to do is just click on flatten and export. Now for me, it's going to go straight to my uh, Mac desktop. So you can see I'm running this through parallels. 
and then your DPI. Now it starts off at 600 DPI. Now that is 300 DPI above the minimum required for say KDP and it goes even higher. So you can go down to 4,200 if you've got a really great cover for your book on KDP you might want a really high DPI so that it can be seen, so it can be crisp. So I design a lot of my covers in PowerPoint I've had covers designed for me in PowerPoint as well, and they usually do lose resolution. They can look a little bit blurry sometimes, and this would actually get over this. So I'm just going to use the 600 one because all I want to show you is how it actually flattens. So I'm going to click OK, and then it goes off and does its work, and it goes straight to my desktop. So as soon as that's done... And then I'm just going to open it up as a PDF. So this is the PDF. You can see that there's no difference between the original PDF. There's, there's none whatsoever. And now this one, it's not the individual images. It's the individual pages. So here I can click on an individual image. I still can't edit it because it's in PDF. But then if I went to Affinity or Illustrator or Inkscape and I brought it in, so I'm going to open this new one, file, open, and I'm going to open it here. It gives me an estimate. I can actually take that up, uh, you know, but I'm going to just keep it as estimate. And then um, once it's opened, there we go. Here I am in my Windows PDF, and look, there's no layers. It's just the image. If I click there... It's just the image. I can't go in and click and change it. I can't double click and then go in and change it. So this has well and truly flattened my PDF, exactly what is required if you are selling any printables on, say, Etsy or Teachers Pay Teachers. And the quality is great for KDP as well. So again, Go and check the link. It'll be down in the description. As I said, at this moment in time of filming it, it is free. There might be a charge come up, but there's also a donation that you can give to Marina as well. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified about any other videos I make. And while you're here, why not go and check out some of my PowerPoint videos where I actually show you to create different types of books using PowerPoint.